Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How are you today? Fine, thank you. Very well, thank you for asking. Okay, ready for the English class of today is the last of this week, but we're going to wait a few minutes. Vamos a esperar unos minutos para que los demás puedan ingresar. Igual si tienen preguntas, estoy a la orden. No, no question. Okay. No question. Perfect. Hello, good evening. Okay, my friends, we are going to start. Vamos a iniciar entonces la clase. Eh, 
la primera pregunta es um, cómo vamos con el, la plataforma. Todos terminamos ya el midterm test. Sería sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm test. ¿Cómo vamos con eso? Y yo finalizando la tercera, la 3, todavía no he llegado a midterm. Ok. Igual yo en la 3 he finalizado. Ok, very good. Vamos a iniciar entonces con un repaso de la plataforma. Vamos a ir chequeando qué es lo que hay ahí para que nosotros tengamos la idea de lo que falta o si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, pues lo vamos a solventar. Ok, so, habíamos chequeado exacto hasta la unidad, bueno, la sección 1. So, this one it says 2.0, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Okay, so the next one that we have is a, a conversation, right? That is over there. Vamos a practicar la conversación juntos, okay? A ver, Erling, vamos a empezar con usted. Um, yo voy a iniciar, yo voy a ser Jason y usted va a ser Andrea, ¿ok? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ok. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? A hamburger heaven. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Ahora van a practicar Carla y Jorge. Jorge Hernández. Okay. Uh, where do you work, Andrea? Quizá no está Carla. Are you here, Carla? Carla Alas. Hola. Ah, ok. Sí, la conversación ahí con el compañero. Usted va a ser Andrea. Uh, could you please start over? Que podría iniciar otra vez. Ok, ok. Where do you, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I uh, give the guide. A guide. guide. Mm -hmm. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. Oh, where, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Uh, with restaurant? Hamburger heaven. Perfect, very good. Vamos a hacer solo una última práctica para poder avanzar. Um, a ver, Emily. And um, Edith. Okay. Acabo de entrar. No, no sé. Ah, solo hay que hacer la conversación. Eh, Emily sería la primera y luego sigue la compañera. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at uh, Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide to uh, take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How oh, interesting. Yes, it is. It is great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger 
Heaven. 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 Perfect. Very good. So, um, do you have any questions here? For example, there. What is there? Or really, what do you do there? I Como mean, ¿Qué haces ahí? Ahí. 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 Ah, yeah. Very good. And what is guide? Guía. Guía. Nice. Uh, let's see. Countries. Interesting. Great job. Um, what is a part-time job? Medio tiempo. Un trabajo en medio tiempo. Very good. In a fast food restaurant. Comida rápida. Restaurante, restaurante comida, comida rápida. Very well. Okay. So after that one, we have the next uh, lesson objective. Um, Gabriela, could you please read the objective? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Okay. So this was the simple present tense. Uh, and the video, we're going to have like the explanation about that one. And then we get to the next um, knowledge check. Uh, that is complete this conversation using simple present and W's question words. Alguna pregunta con este ejercicio? Dudas? Mm. Todos hicimos este ya, ¿verdad? Yes. Good, good. Yep. Si alguien no lo ha hecho, hay que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Now, uh, 2.5. Um, Aileen, could you please read this objective? Yes, please read the objective. Mm. In this lesson, in this lesson, you will listen to conversation where time expressions are first introduced. So this is about time expressions, right? And then we have a second conversation. So we are going to practice. Let's see, uh, Keila Lopez. Yo voy a iniciar y Keila va a continuar. Está por aquí, Keila. Sí. Very good. So, um, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start uh, work at uh, five. Okay. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. Mm -hmm. I do the weather report on KNTV. Mm -hmm. Don't you recognize me? Recognize me. Recognize me. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Perfect. Thank you. Ahora para el siguiente, Jorge Antonio. Va a iniciar y va a continuar Vilma. Okay. So, do you, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah. I, yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to the go to work? I work in the I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at nine? I usually get home at meeting, midnight. Midnight? That That is late. What do you do exactly? I am TV announcer. I do the weather report on KMTV. Don't you recognize, recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Jessica is going to start and uh, Lilian is going to do the second part. Hello. Hello. ¿Cuál teacher, perdón? Usted inicia. So, sería Daniel. Ah. So, do you usually come 
to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Uh, really? What time do you go uh, go to the work? I work in the afternoon. I start um, work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get the home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the I do the water report on a no K and TV. Do not you recognize me? Oh, you Helen Black. I love you. Your show. By the way, I Daniel. Okay, very good. Thank you. The last one, uh, Fabiola and Herman. Herman by initial. Um, eh, me first. No, Herman primero. Okay. Casi no le escuchamos, Herman. Okay. In, in the morning. Mm, yeah, I do. So, do you usually count the day? I I don't understand. <laughs> uh, iniciamos. No uh -huh. Si quiere volvemos a iniciar, Germán, pero sí había problemas ahí en la conexión. Vamos a ver cómo va ahora. Hello. Sí, creo que Germán tiene problemas con la conexión. Vamos a cambiar. Uh, en lugar de Germán, uh, va a ayudarnos a ver Carla Salama. Sería la primera parte, Carla. Creo que no está, Carla. Ok, let's see. Aileen. I am Aileen. Daniel. Yeah, please. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get, get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am to be a no, sir. I do weather report on KNTV. I don't you recognize, recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, okay perfect. So we're going to continue. Any questions here? Well, actually we have some things, right? Uh, what is yeah. the gym? Gimnasio. Good. Uh, what time? That is a very common question. Let's see. What is late? Tarde. 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 Okay. Uh, midnight. What is midnight? Medianoche. No, Medianoche. Medianoche. Good. TV announcer. What is that? Como presentadora. Very good. Weather report. Report, report del, del clima. De clima. Very good. Recognize me. Me conoces. Very good. And by the way. Por cierto. Very Por cierto. Good. Do you have any other question with this conversation? Profe, tengo una duda. Okay. By the way, 
tiene otro contexto. Mm, by the way, uh, pues lo más... Es decir, es... para el camino... Uh, lo puede decir en un contexto diferente, pero lo más común sería, by the way, como por cierto, ¿verdad? Mm, ok. Ok, very well. Yeah. Any other question? No. Ok, lesson objective. Um, let's see. Carlos Cruz, could you please help me reading the objective? Uh, by the end, constellation. Participant will be able to identify and use the information, choose and preposition of, of style and adverse of style. Okay, so these are prepositions and adverbs of time. Eso aún no lo hemos visto, pero acá pues ya, ya va en la plataforma. Luego tenemos the time expressions. Um, at night, uh, in June, with uh, the prepositions. We're going to check that very soon. And then we have the knowledge check. So everybody has done this. Todos finalizamos este ya, ¿verdad? Yes. Very good. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Then we have the other lesson objective. Um, let's see. Maribel, um, could you please help me reading the objective? Um, no le escuchamos, Maribel. Ya avancé la, la dos, la tres. Estoy en los... Eh, Esto creo que ya los hice todos. Ok. ¿Será que me ayuda a leer el, el objetivo que está ahí en pantalla? Yes. In this class, participants will... Develops listing still for specific information about the schedule. Okay, daily schedules. Uh, and daily. then we have a listening exercise about schedule. Este también ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Que es el que lleva este. Eh, recuerden que si alguien no lo ha hecho, que las horas, los números van en letra, no van en números. No, no okay. okay. And then we have number three. Eh, para ahora tendríamos que ir terminando la tres y el midterm test. Por eso lo estamos revisando ahora. Pero si usted no lo ya ha hecho. Tengo. Very good. Si no se ha ya hecho. Los tengo. Nice. Hasta los anoté por acá. Okay, very good. Okay, this is number 3.0. Humberto, could you please help me reading this subject? Too? Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to conversation about demonstratives while okay. shopping. Very good. While, what is while, do you know? Mientras. Mientras. Very good. And then we have a little conversation here. Well, this is a, a video just telling you uh, some explanation. This is como la explicación. Okay, and then we have um, 3.2 lesson objective. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Kevin, could you please help me read in this subject? Hello, Kevin. ¿Cuál parte, teacher? El objetivo, vamos a leer. Ok. Este, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, this, does, those, to express possible choice. Ok. So, this, uh, this, that, those, we're going to check that later on. And also we have the demonstratives one and ones. Um, that is not difficult to be honest with you. After that one, we have the knowledge check. Luego tenemos el knowledge check, que es uh, 
Esto es bastante sencillo. Acá solo es de encontrar which one is it, ¿ok? Si algunos no lo han hecho, eh, esto es bastante fácil. Hay que avanzar, ¿verdad? Hay que avanzar todo lo que se pueda. The red ones. Igual ya lo vamos a ver en la clase. ¿Preguntas con este knowledge check? No. Ok. Then we have the 3.5 objective. Um, Jessica, could you please help me reading the objective? Excuse me. Uh, could you please read? Uh, in this lesson, participants will to listen to sentences stress in order to improve pronunciation. Good. What is, do you know what is a uh, sentence stress? Okay, el estrés de una oración es como donde va la fuerza. In English is very important uh, because in that way you are going to show the other people, the, the people that are listening, what you are talking about, okay? What is improve, do you know? Mejorar. Very good, mejorar. Okay, so now we're going to check this, uh, well, this is just the video about the stress that you can check on that one. And then um, this is 3.7, uh, Lilian, could you please read this one? In this lesson, participants will, will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjective with expressing preference. Okay, so this one is about adjectives. Este sí va a ser interesante, ya lo vamos a ver también. Muy interesante cómo lo vamos a ver y vamos a ver también las compartis en superlativo. Y acá hay una pequeña conversación que vamos a practicar. A ver, vamos a iniciar con Fabiola. Fabiola, eh, voy a iniciar yo y usted sigue. Ok. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? Wool one. Um, it looks warm, warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Um, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's fine, I, I, I sorry. Um, for, for, for for hundred ninety nine. Good. And uh, would you like to try it? Try it on. Oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Very good. Uh, next is going to be Vilma. And um, let me see. Gabriela. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Hello, creo que no está. Bueno, le va a ayudar a ver Carla Alas. Repito de nuevo o si usted ah, quiere. Sí, okay. I like to <laughs> <laughs> inicio si quiere. Bye. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wall one better. The wall one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It's more stylish than the wall one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's, um, <laughs> como se pronuncia? 499. 499. Would, would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. 
Very good, thank you. Next one is going to be uh, Jose Lino, va a iniciar. And it's going to continue Emily. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which ones do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Yo también digo ese. Sí, por favor. It's 499. Would, would you like to try it on? Oh, no. That's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Perfect, thank you. The last one is going to be Humberto and uh, Katy. Katy Sines. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Is for, I don't remember, how do you say? <laughs> 499. 499, thank you. Would you like to try, try it on? Oh no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Perfect, thank you. Okay, let's check some vocabulary. Um, jackets, what is that? Chaqueta. Okay. okay, and then it says, I like the wool one better. What is wool? Lana. Lana. La de lana. Okay, very good. And better? Mejor. Eh, mejor. Good. Mejor. And the other one says, it looks warmer. What says there? Caliente. Use caliente. Más. Caliente. Se ve más caliente. Very good. I like the le leather. What is leather? Cuero. 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 Cuero, good. Stylish, what is stylish? El estilo. 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 Very good. And then it says there's no price tag. What is a price tag? Como viñeta. Very good. Viñeta, mm. nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, con los números hay que practicarlo. Ya vieron que nos van a perseguir por siempre, ¿verdad? So. <laughs> <laughs> Please practice numbers. They are going to be there in readings and uh, many other things. Let's say, Dan says, uh, would you like to try it on? Ahí que dice. Si quiere probársela. Le gustaría probársela. Good. And then it says, thanks. Anyway. What is anyway? De todas maneras. Como Gracias. sea. Como sea, de todas maneras. Good. And then you're welcome that you know what is that. Good, good. Let's move on. Then we have a knowledge check. Uh, in this one, uh, you will follow the pictures and then uh, check what is the material on this one. Este está bastante fácil. Eh, preguntas o dudas con este? Questions? No. Okay. Then we have um, lesson 3.10 objective. Uh, Vilma, could you please read this? No está Vilma, creo. Ok, uh, let's see. Uh, Keila López, could you please read that? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend. Comprehend. And use, comprehend and use comparative, comparative adjectives. Very good. This is for comparative adjectives. Uh, we're going to check that very soon as well. Esta es interesante, una, va a ser una clase muy bonita la que vamos a tener. And then we have the knowledge check that is about, well, materials again. Okay, so you just need to 
choose the correct answer. Preguntas con esta parte? No questions. Luego tenemos el midterm test, que es hasta donde tendríamos que ir al menos en la plataforma. Igual si vamos atrasados, tenemos dos semanas. Dos semanas para terminar todo. Entonces, lo interesante sería no atrasarnos, porque si no, allá vamos a tener que estar haciendo un montón de ejercicio, ¿verdad? Part A is a listening. Simplemente de escuchar y de check the correct answer. ¿Ok? Then uh, we have part B, fill in the blanks. Con esta parte, eh, just remember that eh, aquí en la cajita, lo ponemos esto, eh, hay que ponerlo uh, con mucho cuidado. Uh, por ejemplo, ahí, where, ¿qué pondríamos ahí? R. Uh, R. Uh. R. Yo pongo R. Pero si le pongo un punto, por ejemplo, ya no me la va a agarrar buena. Si yo pongo R y le doy espacio, no me la va a tomar. Bien. Siempre con las boxes hay que tener cuidado con eso. Igual si tienen alguna pregunta o duda, me la pueden enviar, ¿verdad? Y revisamos qué podemos hacer. Questions with this part? No. Then we have circle the word. Okay. So... It's just to choose the correct answer. Este sí lo vimos, los positive adjectives. My, you, he, she, her, all those. Okay, questions about this? No. Okay, let me check some vocabulary here. I remember there was something. Let's see. Survivor, what is survivor? Sobreviviente. Sobreviviente. Very good. Sobreviviente. So the next one is complete the sentences. Again, uh, be careful with the box. Hay que tener cuidado con la cajita. La verdad, si se pone de más, de menos, no lo vas a aceptar. So just be careful about this part. Okay? Questions about this? No. Okay. Then we have reading. This is a reading that we need to do. And then um, we just um, complete, right? We just choose the correct answer according to the reading. Este es como un, un correo. Um, este lo podríamos practicar. Let me see. Mm, pero, okay. Teacher. Yes. Esa parte que estamos viendo ahorita lo tenemos que tener terminado para cuándo? Ese se suponía que era para ahora. Ah, bueno. Ahora. Yo si aparte ya la terminé, voy a empezar la cuatro. Very good. Ahí vamos encaminados. Ahora, si no lo ha terminado, no hay problema. Quizá el problema se viene cuando se termina la cuarta semana. Al terminarse la cuarta semana, o sea, dentro de dos semanas, vamos a estar haciendo el final test. Eh, vamos a ver la última unidad y el final test, pero ese día a la medianoche se cierra la plataforma. O sea que después de ese jueves, que es a final de mes, ya no van a poder accesar a la plataforma. Y si ya no accesan y les falta para llegar al, a la nota, pues no van a poder pasar al siguiente módulo. Por eso es muy importante que este se termine lo antes posible, ¿ok? Ok. Depende de cómo vayamos, o sea, si les falta poco para terminar, Ahorita no hay problema. There is not a problem. Uh, igual en la clase hay algunos temas que algunos los hemos visto. No hay problema. Sin embargo, pues en la medida que puedan, hay que ir avanzando. Okay. 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 We are going to read this uh, this one together, please. Hi Ernesto. Hi Ernesto. Hi Ernesto. In your email message, uh, thank you. In your email message, you asked me what do I do every day. In, you, in my message, in you, you ask me, what do you do every day? Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. Well, well I'm a student well, at the I'm University, of University, University of Michigan. Michigan. I really like my classes. I really like, I my, really really like, classes. like my classes. I study yeah. computer science. I, I study, study computer, computer science. science. Computer science. 
and Chinese. And Chinese. And Chinese. And Chinese. I go to school around eight in the morning on weekdays. I go, I go to, to school, school around eight, 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 eight in the morning on weekdays. Weekdays. Uh, hold on a second. Right. Uh, around noon, I have lunch. Around noon, I, I have, have lunch. lunch. With some classmates. With, with, with some, some classmates. classmates. On Mondays and Fridays, I work out in the gym before my classes. On Mondays, on Mondays, Mondays and Fridays, and Fridays, I, Fridays work I work out, I work out, out in the gym, gym before, before my classes. My classes. And in the late afternoon. And in the late afternoon. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, my friend Daniel and I have part-time jobs. On, on Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, my friend, Thursdays, my friend and Daniel and I, I have part-time part jobs. jobs. Oh. We work in the school cafeteria. We, we, we work, work in the school cafeteria. The school cafeteria. Yeah. And I study in the library every weeknight. And, and I, I study in the library every week until about 2 a.m. Until, until about 2 a.m. We work in, uh, let me check. We work no, in the school. No, I am full time. We work. I, I, am. I am a full time student. I am a full time student. Full -time full -time student. student. And I don't have time to watch TV. And I don't and have, I don't time, have to watch time, TV. time to watch TV. And what do you do? Send me another email, please. And what do you do? Send another email, please. Email, email, please. Your new e friend, Chris. Your, Your new, new friend, new Chris. E -friend Chris. Chris. Good. Do you have questions about vocabulary here? Just around noon. Okay, around noon is cerca de mediodía. Noon es mediodía. Okay. Okay, any other question? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Workout, what is workout? Work. Um, Sería hacer ejercicio. Mm. Workout es hacer ejercicio. Let me see. Uh, weeknight. Las noches. Sí. Las noches de la semana. Ahí ya no va el uh, weekend. Night. Night. Luego dice until. What is until? Desde. Hasta. 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 Hasta las 2 de la mañana. Uh, let's see what else. Yo creería que no hay más. Okay. So, um, this is the final part. Hasta aquí es donde tendríamos que estar ahora. Ahora. Today. Si no están, hay que empezar a meterle el acelerador. Depende de dónde están. O sea, si están en A1, hay que meterle con todo, ¿verdad? Si están I en A2. Ya, yeah, si están en A2, más o menos. Si están en la 3, solo es determinar la 3 y ya esta parte. Y si ya pasaron de acá, we're good. ¿Ok? Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, en algunos donde, digamos, se ponen un video y tenés que poner como un comentario, mm -hmm. eh, yo pongo el comentario o las oraciones o ejemplos similares, mm -hmm. pero no me aparece el check-in. ¿Cuál será el problema? Mm, ¿Y lo está haciendo en la, plata, en la aplicación o en el sitio web? ¿Cómo así? Hay una aplicación que se instala y lo puede hacer ahí o lo hace en un sitio web, así como lo estoy haciendo yo ahorita. Ah, en el sitio web. Mm, está raro. Está Ajá, raro. Pero todo lo demás, la, res la respuesta sí se lo da bien. Ajá, o sea, como hay unas que agregas el comentario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, yo he visto, yo vi que todos ponían como un ejemplo, algo similar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces yo lo puse, pero igual puse como dos respuestas un poco, tal vez un poco más extensa o algo. Pero no me sale así como el check de que ya está hecho. Okay. Entonces ahí tenía una duda. Sí, 
Humberto ahí quiere hablar también, no sé. Yes, teacher. It's necessary to put the comments in the videos. Eh, es mejor si lo hacen, la verdad, ahí se le marca un chequecito. Entonces, ahora en la nota no le influye, la nota sería totalmente de los ejercicios, nada más. Mm, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Igual hay que ir pendiente del gráfico al final del, uh, de la plataforma para ver el, cómo va el, el, el gráfico. Recuerden que si estamos al 80%, ya, ya estamos en el siguiente nivel. ¿verdad? Ahora, pues, yo creo que a la mayoría nos gusta el, el 100, se ve bien bonito, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que tratar ahí de, de ponerlo. Y cuando terminen todo, pues ya estén al 100, ya se les va a abrir la posibilidad de poder um, imprimir su certificado, su certificate. Okay, uh, we had a homework for today, right? Yes. Okay, we are going to do that right now. Uh, let's see, um, Joselino, go first, please. Okay. This is the routine of Joselino. <laughs> he is get up at 5 a.m. and take a breakfast at 6 a.m. He works in a clothes factory. He gets work at 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then he arrives on his house at 5 p.m. He take a dinner with his family and play with his pet Nina. He likes play video games and watch a movie on his free time. Every day he have a English class at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. On his weekend, he likes play soccer and often he has a dinner with, with his friends. Very good. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. Emily. I didn't do my homework, teacher. So no, that's no. not good. Okay. No, no se preocupe. Está bien. <laughs> Um, tal vez después puede compartir algunas otras cosas. Tenemos otra actividad después. Maribel. Ok. Um, the their routine. The, um, she wake at, uh, at 5 a.m. Um, uh, she was going, going in the, in the Friday, um, in the hospital, my, my brother with, uh, um, my father. Is is um, renal uh, uh, renal um, ¿cómo se dice? Um, renal insufficiency. Um, seven seven. ¿Cómo se dice cita? Appointment. Uh, pone um, seven, seven o'clock. Um, retour, retour my, um, retour her, 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 her house. Um, twelve, twelve. 
Okay, thank you. So now it's going to be Umberto. Okay. Good evening, class. He is Umberto Hakon. His second name is Alex. Alex works at a factory. The factory name is Confeccione del Valle. It's a good place. Alex is a quality manager, works of Monday to Friday. Saturday not work. His favorite hobby is chat on social media. He's a very friendly, but sometimes he's a very angry. He, he is married with Anna. They have two beautiful children and they, and they love their sons. Alex is learns English language all days at night because he wants to travel to USA with a problem for communicate. Good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Gabriel Argueta. And she gets up at 4 a.m. and takes a bus at 5 a.m. and works from Monday to Friday. And she brush her teeth every day and she likes dogs and has one. Her favorite movies are action and romantics and favorite food are pizza and pupus. Perfect, thank you, Gabriela. Jorge Antonio Figueroa. Okay, a day with George, he get up at 5.30 a.m. Then he takes a shower, then get dressed, eat his breakfast. Around 6.30 a.m. he puts on his jacket and helmet and ride his motorcycle for 45 minutes to get to work. At 7.30 start working with Excel and answers, answering the phone and doing other things. He eats his lunch at noon and then continue work until 5 p.m. Then he drive for 45 minutes until he gets home and his daughter goes out to find him. Then at 7.50, he prepared to receive his English class and, and at the end of his class, he goes to sleep around 10 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Eileen. Eileen's routine. Eileen wakes up at 7 a.m. and the first Thing she does is exercise. Then she prepares the breakfast, she washes the dishes, cleans the house, and finally she takes a shower. And the rest of the day, she takes care of her daughter. At 6 p.m., she makes dinner, and at 8 p.m., she receives her English class. Okay, very well, thank you. Jorge Hernandez. Okay. Uh, my name is Jorge Hernandez. I get up at four thirty in the morning, take a shower, change my clothes, and go out for work at five a.m. I don't have time to leave work, but I am almost always at home at four p.m. I take a rest, and then we have dinner with my wife and my children. We watch TV for a while. Later, I take my class, my English class. And then we go to the bed around night, theory at night. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Erling Lainez. Okay, Erling routine. She wakes up at um, 5 a.m. Then she takes a shower and get dressed at um, 5.30 a.m. Then uh, she walks to get on the bus at 6 a.m. And she has break at 7.30 a.m. 
And later she gets to work at 8 a.m. She goes back home at 7 p.m. She has dinner with the family at 7.30 p.m. And she receives virtual English class at 8 p.m. And she usually receives the recorded virtual yoga and Pilates class at 9 p.m. And as for all, she usually goes to bed at 10 p.m. Very good. Thank you. Very interesting. Very active. Um, Jessica Aguilar. Hello, Jessica. No, Jessica. Okay, Vilma. Are you here with us, Vilma? Creo que anda con Jessica. Carlos. Hello? Hello, yes. His name is Carlos Cruz, and does he do daily routine? He make up early and uh, five in eight every day. He goes to the gym. Carlos likes to lift weight and aerobic. At night, in eight, he uh, go to work. He work in a music agency, study English at night and goes to bed around to 10 p.m. On weekend, his hobby is cooking with his home. He listens Italian music and he um, edits a night. Uh, he's loved the European movies. Thank you. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, let's see, Emily. And Emily's daily routine. She wake up at 7 a.m. and she cooks her breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Then she takes a shower and brush her teeth. Then she starts to work in her house at 8 and finish at 11 a.m. She takes her lunch at 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. She goes to the gym at 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. And at this hour, she starts her college class and finish her class at 8 p.m. And at this hour, she, ha she has an English class at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And she goes to the bed at 11 p.m. Very good, very active, nice, thank you. Uh, Lilian Granillo. Sorry, teacher, me perdí, no sé si era una tarea de, de una daily routine o ya la había dejado anteriormente. Uh, creo que no, no recuerdo, creo que no, o oh, sí. No. <laughs> Um, luego la, lo preparo porque no, no ok, don't worry, don't worry mm -hmm. that is fine, Edith Ramirez yes, teacher ok uh, Edith's daily routine she wakes up at 6 a.m. then take a shower up uh, around 20 minutes uh, then uh, she goes, she dress and brush her. Uh, then she goes to work. Uh, she uh, goes travel around uh, 45 minutes. And she is a quality control in her work. And then she returned to house uh, probably uh, prox to 8 or 9 p.m. around. Uh, then uh, she gets class, English class, sorry, um, in the 8 or at 9 p.m. And she, she gets 
to sleep at around 10 or 11 p.m. Okay, perfect. Interesting. Thank you, Edith. Um, Fabiola. Uh, well, hello. hello. Um, my name is Fabiola. Uh, my daily routine is um, first, uh, I get up uh, early and then I take a shower. And after, um, and before, water, <laughs> and I go to, I go my job, and then um, uh, I continue um, in my job until um, 5 p.m. And after um, I come, I come back in my home and I prepare um, the dinner and then I, I study uh, English in the class in the night. And finally, I sleep. <laughs> okay. That's it. Very well. Thank you, Fabiola. Uh, Kathy Sines. Okay. Uh, Kathy Routines. Uh, she gets up at 6.30 a.m. Uh, during the week. And she takes a shower, brushes her teeth. Um, she wears clothes comfortable. At uh, 7 a.m. start, sorry, sorry, at 7 o'clock, she starts uh, your work at home. Uh, she teaches math online all the morning. Um, um, at 8, um, at night, sorry, she drinks Coffee cup, one coffee cup at the uh, holiday. Uh, she cook her lunch. Sorry, because I write in three person. <laughs> um, in the in the afternoon, she checks homework of her students or preparing class for the next day at three p.m. Uh, she takes a break and eats one snack and drink coffee. Another. <laughs> um, in the afternoon, uh, she takes take her her nephew and help with homework. In the night, she preparing your food. Um, at eight p.m., uh, she um, receives the class or and uh, in 9 p.m. she goes to the bed. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, uh, nos falta creo que Joselino y Keila. ¿Sí hicieron el, el deber? Mm, yo fui el primero en clases. Ah, okay, that's true. Y Keila? Falto. Yo. Sí, okay. hice. Go ahead. Kayla's routine. Kayla gets up at 6 a.m. She brushes her teeth. She takes a shower. After she eats breakfast, she starts her home class at 7 a.m. She cleans the house at 3 a.m. p.m. She has English class at 8 p.m. And she does exercise with her sister at 10 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, uh, en general, todo muy bien. Quizás siempre hay que tener cuidado con la S en el verbo y la S. Uh, y el do y el does, porque a veces decían not, solo not, pero tiene que ser doesn't or don't, okay? 
Okay, my friends, this was the class for today. Uh, we're going to see each other on the next Monday. Have a very good weekend and see you. Bye bye now. Bye. Happy bye, weekend. Bye. Bye. Good night. Happy weekend. Bye. 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 Bye